Welcome back to another Ross Reviews, where today ooh, we are in something very special. This is none other than the last of the last, the greatest C63 they ever did in my personal opinion. This is the C63 507 edition. This is the last 2015 model and with that 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8 up front just barking at you. 507 horsepower, 450 pound foot of torque, all played through this seven speed MCT gearbox. Oh, it is good. <laughs> this car is fast. Now, this particular one has had a few goodies added to it, that being a stage two tune. It has had springs put on it to just lower it a little bit and we do have an exhaust system again and just have a listen to this car because it is something else oh my god the noise out of this thing it is just so good and my goodness the response time just the feeling you get of driving this car it's from a time that is gone now because we just don't have cars with this level of drama, this level of angriness anymore in the modern industry. And this thing is just so special. Now the 507, it basically replaced the performance pack for the previous C63 models. This being the last iteration of the C63, it did go out with a bit of a bang. And this 507 pack gave you more power for less money. So this, instead of being 15 grand, would have actually cost you $14,507. So I think Mercedes AMG was really playing into that 507 edition. Now you did also get that power increase. So over a standard C63, you were gonna make 50 extra horsepower and about seven extra pound foot of torque. So it was pretty nice. You did also get a lovely 507 edition badge in the interior here. You get an Alcantara steering wheel. It does feel really nice in the hands. You also did get an Alcantara shifter here with an AMG logo on the top. And on the exterior, we do get that black series bonnet which just really looks a million bucks. You have those two bonnet vents up front. It is aluminum to save weight here. And it really does give this 507 edition a very mean and aggressive look. We did get 19 inch light alloy wheels that were specific to this model as well. And we did get a black stripe down the bottom to signify this being a 507 edition with some blacked out bits on the outside as well. Now a good point to mention how AMG has achieved this extra power is from taking some of the technology out of the much more expensive SLS AMG. They put forged pistons in this motor, they put a lighter crankshaft, lighter connecting rods, making this hand-built AMG motor stronger and over three kilos lighter than the previous one. Even though this car was only available in the seven speed automatic, it does not reduce its fun. Like it's, this is such an engaging, fun car to drive. The, the paddles are just, they're just so responsive. And being a seven speed, you know, you can kind of go up and down through the gears a little bit more frequently. And it is so satisfying. It is so fun. This is one of those cars as well that kind of hides its speed because it is so much fun and engaging to just run the gears through and it doesn't feel like you're going a million miles an hour, but when you look at the gauge cluster, you are. It, it really does hide the speed on you and you gotta kind of pay attention if you don't wanna get a speeding ticket, you really do.
Now, these cars from new were not cheap. And Australia, of course, gets hit with the luxury car tax, so they were even more expensive here in Australia than most places. This particular one, being the 507 edition, from factory would have set you back as a base price $172,000 and that's a lot of change. Now this particular one would have been even more because it has quite frankly almost every option ticked including the very rare LSD at the back which would have set you back another five grand. On the used market these cars are still holding their value reasonably and I think in the future are only going to be going up. If you're going to go buy one now with the 507 pack, you're going to be looking anywhere from about $90,000 to $120,000 depending on case and condition. But I honestly think that in the next 5-10 years, these cars are really going to go up and the collectability, especially being the last one, the last run, having that 507 pack, these things are a collector's item. Now, just in the inside of this car, you know, look, it is really quite nice. And you can start to see the age, but it still feels very premium in here. And it just has that kind of old school class about it. And, you know, we've got these really nice seats, the leather, they feel very comfortable. They are actually quite hugging as well. You've got the big panoramic sunroof here. In the back seat, you know, you've got two seats back there. It is a little bit tricky to get in and out, but once you're back there, it's, it's reasonable. You know, for a short trip, you can live with this thing. And even this one being the last generation, the 2015, we've got a few luxury safety features. You know, we've got blind spot monitoring. We've got adaptive cruise control. We even have lane keep assist here. So it does have a few modern touches. We've got a reverse camera in here. It's got a basic infotainment system, but you know, you can use Bluetooth audio, which is the main thing, and you do have a Harden Carmen sound system, so it does sound pretty nice in here. And then of course, the soundtrack out the back is what you really want to hear. <laughs> we do have big red calipered AMG brakes up front. They are six pot and they stop this car tremendously well. You know, you, you barely have to touch this thing and it really does kind of throw you forward because they are so grippy. AMG, funny enough, did put only two 5.5 tires at the rear. And I think they kind of did that on purpose because, you know, they could have put big 275s back there or, or, you know, something to really get the grip down. But they went with 255 and I think they did that to let you play with this car a little bit because you want to be able to kind of have fun in this car and AMG lets you have a huge amount of fun in this car even just as standard. I've driven the W205, the, the next generation C63 S and honestly, this just sounds so much better, but you can't get that in the new C63. You just can't. And although the interior is probably better in the new one, just, just the engine is why you buy this one. You know, that, that, that 6.2, the naturally aspirated V8, it's one of the best engines AMG has ever done. And Contrary to some people's beliefs, this is a 6.2 liter. It's not a 6.3 like the badge indicates. AMG was actually paying tribute to the M100, which was quite popular in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. This is a 6.2 liter, and it's a glorious one. Oh, yes. Magic, magic, this thing. The downshift just, oh, wow. That's, that's just never gonna get old. And the fact you can't replicate that kind of experience in a modern day car anymore. It's just, this, this was kind of the last of the last of these, you know, big NA 
European muscle cars, basically. This is what, that's what this is. And it is a bloody brilliant one. Here, foot is on the brake. We are in sport mode. Race star is available. <laughs> well, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> <laughs> that felt better. That felt a lot quicker. That was just kind of rolling onto it because you just can't flat foot this car straight away. It's got too much power. The wheels are too small at the back. It's, uh, yeah, you got to finesse this thing. You really do. It's a beast. 5.9. So we improved it. It, uh, you know, we could be here all day improving this car. It's, this is one of those cars that it will, it will really take finesse and, and knowing this car very, very well to get a good time. And you got to be on the right road condition as well. Um, yeah, I think mid fives is where you're going to be around once you get used to this car. And if you had maybe some slicks on the back or some wider tires, then you're really gonna be able to get that power down to get closer to that claim time. Oh, the, the noise in this car, it's just, it covers all senses. You know, you've got, the, the throttle just feels so sensitive on your right foot. The paddles, they do feel actually, considering it's not a dual clutch, they feel very responsive and the steering feels really nice. It's got a good weight to the wheel. And that exhaust just transfers so much soul of this car. You know, it just, it puts everything together. And when you drive this thing, you just can't not smile. You just can't. <laughs> the noise is, it just, anywhere in the rev range, you get that noise. and. You don't even have to be going stupid fast to, to really enjoy this car. That's kind of the beauty of it. it. Even just hovering around the speed limit and dropping it down, raising it up, like it, it really is an event, this car. And it is so much fun. In conclusion, the W204 C63 507 edition is sheer German V8 perfection. That 6.2 liter, naturally aspirated, hand-built AMG V8 simply is incredible and is the only reason you need to love this car. From the looks to the sound, this C63 just makes you feel so alive. It doesn't even matter if you're driving or not. This car, just even seeing it drive down the road, will spark excitement to any true car nut. Are they impractical? Yes. Are they expensive? Yes. Are they worth it? 100% yes. These cars will forever remain in the history books as being one of the best European V8s ever made. And I love it. Thanks for watching.